I'm here with Kavari Russell from the Mariner High School football team and uh, Kavari is getting ready for his senior football season at Mariner. He had an extremely busy, fun, eventful summer and I'm just catching up with him a little bit before the season starts. Uh, Kavari, first of all, tell me about uh, some of the prestigious things that you did this summer and, and how all that went. Uh, first of all, I'm going to start off with the Nike camp. Uh, we had a Nike camp this, like it was July, uh, June 19th, I, I believe, June 20th. We, that, that was that was the start of my summer, man. The Nike camp at the UW Stadium, held by ESPN and Nike. Went down there, just a big, about four hour, four or five hour camp, just with running every position, the individual position, coaches, all that, just teaching you aspects of the game, just new stuff that you shouldn't, that you probably don't learn in high school. And I came out with the MVP award at the running back, best at running back at, in the Northwest, at nice. like the top 40 in the Northwest. So I came out, won that. That was a big one because I told I told ESPN and Rivals.com all the all the recruiting stuff. I was like, I'm going to win MVP. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to come second or third. I was like, I'm going to win MVP because this is my hometown and they coming here. They came, they came to Washington. Yeah, I had to defend to your territory. Yes, I had to defend. I had to hold it down for Washington to let them know that I am the number one. They they, they consider me number one, so I had to let them know I'm the number one. That's that was my goal to win MVP. Okay. Then the, the second thing was the opening. That was a big five six day event at in Oregon in Beaverton, Beaverton, Oregon. Uh, the top 150 in the nation. Top 150 overall players in the nation. So, prospectively being considered one top 150 in the nation just put a little, you know, a little, <laughs> a little smile on my face. Yeah, just, yeah. You know, to be the top 150, and there's only there's only 12 running backs that was invited. So, let alone being the top 12 running backs in the nation, just being the top 150 overall prospects, that was real big for me. Knowing that we came out each and every day, had a combine. I ran a four or five electronic time, set the record for the shuttle out of 377 shuttle, the best of the whole country. So that was the one I could take back and blow a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you I got some a, feedback from some NFL guys, right? Oh, a lot right? of guys, yeah. Yeah. Jerry Rice, Marshall Falk, Adam Kinsu, Champ Bailey, Patrick Peterson. I mean, there were wow. so many people there. Vashante Sanko, and I got a lot of advice from Jerry Rice. He just told me to stay hungry, just constantly stay hungry, be, be open to a lot of ideas, open to everything, open to a lot of feedback, every, just whoever tells you something, just listen, just yeah. listen. I, like, I asked Jerry Rice a question, and I was like, Jerry, you weren't the fastest or the strongest, but what kept you working? Like, every day you kept working, you had probably the best work ethic ever, and, he, and that, that's what he, that's the, his response, he's like, yeah, you should be right, I wasn't the fastest or the strongest, but in that fourth quarter, I was going to be the, the most conditioned, the what, most well-rounded athlete there was, like, you weren't going to be able to stay with me, because he knew that each and every day he could get better. Yeah. Each and every there's someone working, so he knew that he's gonna be that one person that was gonna stay working every day. And he didn't let the soreness get to him either. <laughs> he said that whenever he got whenever he felt the soreness come, he'd go run or he'd go lift some more. He said he'd just like be a step ahead of the game each and every day. Fight before, through it. Before film he'd work out. After film he'd work out. Before film he'd run. After film he'd run. So <laughs> each and every day he'd do something new. Just just constantly being a step ahead of the game. Then push him to after that. I did the uh, went to the Gridiron Kings. At Gridiron Kings I was about two weeks after, I think a week and a half after, actually, I barely got a rest after the opening. <laughs> Gridiron Kings in Orlando, Florida, man. I've never been to Florida. That was the first time. You're crossing the country for that one. Oh, yeah. crossing the country. I took like a five-hour flight, then a one-hour, one-hour and forty-minute flight. Wow. Me. But it was, the humidity down there. Whew. I'm a true Northwest guy. I'm a true Northwest guy. So it's about 90, 98 degrees with like 100 percent humidity. It was killing me. Wow. wow. But other than that, that was the top 64 players in the nation, the whole country, the U.S. So, that, man. Top 64 put me in that. That was a big event for me, a big just accomplishment for myself. Just knowing I wanted to. Oh, that was one of my goals, just to be considered one of the top players in the country yeah. all, all my whole life. So that I went down there, performed pretty well. I'm gonna raise my stock a little bit, going against the best linebackers and best corners. And I think now I know I can play against the best of the best and just increase my work ethic to be one of the uh, be one of the top 25. Yeah. Uh, top 64. Well, that's an amazing summer. Uh, you just kept proving yourself over and over, and day, yeah. you're never, uh, never satisfied. So I know you're gonna ne keep, oh, never. keep working hard. I'm always hard. happy, never satisfied. Yeah. I'm trying to silence all those doubters that said I couldn't play with the best of the best. I only could play in Washington. I couldn't play down south, but now I know I can. Yeah, and uh, you know, speaking of not being satisfied, I know you have a lot of uh, schools that are interested in you and you're still attracting attention. Um, tell me a little bit about the offer that you just got from USC recently. I know that was a oh. huge deal for you. Oh, that was a huge Like that, that, That's my dream school. I, still, I wouldn't say that's my number one school right now. Uh, they're in my top five, of course. Right now, I would say my top five is, by the way, is UW, Notre Dame, Cal, Boise State, and USC. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
USC, they, that, that was always my dream school when I was little growing up. Just knowing, just hearing about Marcus Allen, hearing about OJ Simpson. I didn't know him, but I seen high, just when you know when YouTube came out, I started looking at, <laughs> looking at other highlights, just knowing that there are some players. Then once the my generation, the, the Matt Liner, Reggie Bush, yeah. Matt Castle, all those, like Amazing all, the, tradition. all the players, like Lindell White, all the players that came through. You know they got some players there. Oh yeah. Pete Carroll's my favorite high, I mean my favorite college coach ever. I love Pete Carroll a lot. I wish he was still at USC. <laughs> There's a lot, a lot of enthusiasm like you. I think. Yeah, a yeah. lot of enthusiasm. He loves his team. He knows how to coach his team. He's probably he's a winning coach. Yeah. Like, I, I love Pete Carroll. So, and then, like I said, Reggie Bush, that's my guy. I love Reggie. He's going to kill out Miami Dolphins. I don't even know that. <laughs> they better use the Wildcat offense a lot. So, but other than that, they're going to have, I mean, they got Reggie's my guy. He, he influenced me a lot just to go. I never talked to him. I'm just saying he influenced me a lot to go to USC. Like, I always wanted to go to USC yeah. just to be him. I wore number five as well. Mm -hmm. So, I knew that. I knew we had something in common. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that, at USC is a big one. I, like, just, I always told myself, I just, if I get that offer, I know I can play. Yeah. SC, don't get, SC doesn't give out offers if you cannot play the game. Right. That and, means something big that when means they a do lot. that. And yeah. then they, they only have a limited amount of scholarships. So, you know, if you get a, one of those limited amounts, think, what, is it 13 scholarships? Some, some tiny amount, some small amount. But I got one of them. So, I know they're really interested in me and they want me to play. And uh, it sounds like you're going to take your time a little bit with your decision and uh, you're going to take some official yeah. visits. You already have one planned to Notre, uh, Notre Dame, Dame when they play USC. When they play right? USC the okay. night game, October 22nd. <laughs> That'll be the, fun. The other ones are open in the air. I mean, I might, I'm, I'm still deciding which ones to give the official yeah. visits to. Okay. Uh, now going into this football season coming up, you have a practice starting up in a few days yep. and you have football on your mind, but you have all sorts of other things going on. You're a really well-rounded young man. Yeah. You've got uh, student government, class president. so. Tell me about your plate being a little more full this year than even last year. ASP president. <laughs> ASP president. Yeah, I was class last year. Oh, okay. Now it's the <laughs> no. I mean, it, it's, it's just a lot. I'm just trying to give back to my school, the community, and all that. Just not not be a one one rounded guy. Just I mean, one uh, one level guy basically. Just I'm trying to do more, not just football. I'm trying to help the school, help the community, help my peers around me, every everybody, my football team. Let them know that you can't just be a football player. You got you got being a leader, being the elite guy. You got to do more. You got to help show that. You're a well, well, well rounded guy. Yeah. Like I, I can do more. I, I, school, I can do school wise. I, had a, I finished off with a three, three, seven or three, eight in my last semester of my junior year. So I finished my junior year off strong. Now I'm going to my senior year taking AP English, pre cal. I'm, Got the football thing on me. Got, <laughs> got a, I, mean, I got a lot on my plate this year. Got so much. Like I said, ASB president, all, all this. Just. It's, I'm taking a lot. It's, it's hard. It's hard. It's very hard. But like I said, it keeps my mind racing. You see, it's always racing now. I'm yep. talking. Yeah. It's, it's, it, <laughs> but it's a great aspect of life to say I do more than one, more more than one thing in school because you learn so much to keep the brain working, different parts of your brain working, not, yeah. just, not just one part of the, which is just football, not just one part of that. So I'm worried about so much other things. It, it, it's a lot, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it down. Yeah, and you have a chance to make such a wide impact at your school. Oh yeah, that exactly. Way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, Kavari, thanks for taking some time to talk. And uh, it's going to be fun watching you play this season. Good luck to you and good luck to your team. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.